Hey everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide, your guide to the science behind caffeine and energy drinks. Today I'm answering some fan mail questions about 4 Loco. There's lots of other videos and blog posts about 4 Loco and about how alcohol affects the body and why mixing alcohol and energy drinks is so bad. So today I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'll provide some references to other resources so that you can learn more about the parts that I skip. Second of all, I'm going to talk about how vodka Red Bull and other mixes like Irish coffee compare to the original Four Loco. People have been drinking Irish coffee long before energy drinks and people still drink vodka Red Bull. So what makes Four Loco so different, so bad, so special? If you work in student health or you're a teacher or a parent or a college student, or you're someone like me and wants to go out and party with your friends, but you get tired at 9 p.m., this is information you need. So let's start with a question. In honor of Four Loko's top-selling gold drink, what is your favorite color? Please drop them in the comments below. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button while you're at it. I post new videos every Wednesday. Before we compare Four Loko to vodka Red Bull, Irish coffee, etc., let's recap what Four Loko is for those who don't know. Feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps in the description below. For those who don't know, Four Loco was invented in 2005. The four in the name supposedly refers to Four Loco's four key ingredients. Taurine, guarana, caffeine, wormwood, which is supposedly the active ingredient in absinthe, but this fourth ingredient was dropped after one year. So I guess the fourth ingredient could be alcohol, since this was always an alcoholic beverage. Prior to 2011, one 23.5 ounce can of Four Loco was equivalent to four cans of beers and five cups of coffee. With 12% alcohol, one can of Four Loco is basically five glasses of wine per can. Four Loco is still sold today, but without taurine, grana, or caffeine. It just has alcohol, which is kind of like if Hogwarts only had Slytherin. Okay, finally, the part you've waited for. How does Four Loco pre-2011 compare to vodka Red Bull, Irish coffee, other caffeine alcohol mixes? The key lies with the EFSA, the European Food Safety Authority. The EFSA did this big giant review and looked at the research conclusions of Health Canada, the Italian National Food Safety Committee, the French Agency for Food, Environmental, and Occupational Health and Safety, the Federal Institute for Risk Assessment, and the Panel on Food Additives and Nutrient Sources Added to Food. So in other words, like a huge caffeine research coalition. Their conclusions, up to 200 milligrams of caffeine with enough alcohol to give you a blood alcohol content of 0.08 does not give rise to safety concerns. In other words, however much alcohol by itself you personally can drink until you get a blood alcohol content of 0.08 is fine with up to 200 milligrams of caffeine. If you go over that much caffeine or over that much alcohol, it's no good. It's not safe. That means that technically one Jaeger bomb, which is a shot of Jaeger in a glass of Rockstar, or one vodka Red Bull, or one Irish coffee is safer than what Four Loco was. One can of Four Loco was too much alcohol and too much caffeine, past that safety limit, the EFSA determined. As long as you stay under 200 milligrams of caffeine and under 0.08 blood alcohol content, then it's unlikely caffeine would mask the intoxication you feel or how intoxicated you feel you are. So this means that mixing alcohol and caffeine is safe just like jumping off a cliff is safe. It's not the act itself 
it's what happens next that's the problem. The number one concern is that more caffeine makes you feel less drunk than you actually are, but your reflexes will still be impaired. Four other things to keep in mind. Number one, caffeine is a diuretic, especially for people who aren't normal caffeine consumers. And alcohol is a diuretic, meaning that mixing those two things makes you even more dehydrated, dehydrated than alcohol alone, which means your hangovers are going to be way worse. By the way, I have a video on why energy drinks make good hangover relief. You should check that out. Two, alcohol is unlikely to exacerbate the effects of caffeine on your cardiovascular or your central nervous system. But if you can't handle two Red Bulls sober, you can't handle two Red Bulls with alcohol. Three, alcohol has different labeling laws than food, so you won't always find the nutritional facts panel on the back. That means if you're trying to figure out which drink has more sugar, more carbs, you probably need to use Google to help you out there and do it on a beverage by beverage comparison. Or you could just use sugar-free Red Bull. And for the US FDA has said that mixing caffeine and alcohol is not generally recognized as safe, but there may still be other alcoholic energy drinks out there in other countries. In closing, it really comes down to why you're mixing the two. Is it because you like the taste? All right, well, I mean, there's other things that taste good, so maybe try something else. Is it because you want to drink more? Well, people in Wisconsin have been able to close down bars without the help of caffeine and alcohol, so I'm sure you can find a way to drink an impressive amount of alcohol. Is it because you want to feel buzzed? Well, in that case, skip the caffeine. The caffeine is going to eventually make you feel less drunk than you are. So if you're drinking to feel drunk, just skip the caffeine. Is it to sober up? Well, got news for you, caffeine will not help you there. It will not help you sober up. Come back to caffeine when you're trying to cure your hangover. Is it because you want to party? <gasps> All right, well, if that's the case, then maybe one energy drink and one alcoholic beverage are fine. Remember, stay below that 0.08 blood alcohol content, stay below 200 milligrams of caffeine, and make sure you stop there. If you go past that point, you're no longer safe. I hope you found this helpful. If you have more questions, please drop them in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button while you're at it. I post new videos every Wednesday. I've got lots of resources and references in the description below, so you can check those out for more information. You can also subscribe to the Green-Eyed Guide bi-monthly newsletter so that you can keep track of all the wonderful, magical things I'm doing. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Till next time, I'm Green-Eyed Guide, your guide to the science behind caffeine and energy drinks. Take care.